Hey uh, everyone, Miyasity here. We're back playing Other Side today. We're going through and uh, catching up to where we were in the other episode on Era 5. So to do that, we have to get through the first and second era. Doing that will be the easiest and quickest way. So then we can skip the third and fourth era be right back on the fifth era. So with that being said, let's jump right into these synapses. There's a rescue and a hard. We really want to make sure to get these rescues so that we can get those revive coins. There's four daughters that we can use here, so we're going to take that chance to get Melody here. Uh, let's get Celeste. Let's get Hope. And why not Blanc? Um, so yeah, basically what we're doing right now is... Let my creations fill the ocean, fill the world and drag it into the void. I'm telling you, these things are getting darker. Anyway, what we're doing right now is kind of stocking up on all the resources we can get our hands on. Um, we want more memories, we want more Vitae, we want more traits, we, we want more everything. So we're kind of trying to get our better units better, if that makes sense. So we want to kind of get as many kills on them so they can try to get traits and trigger as many good things as they can. Um, I'm not sure how to... Quite honestly, I haven't looked up how to get half these traits. But you would think like Killer of Nightmare Creatures, for example, would be from killing Nightmare Creatures. Or Killing Cultists would be from killing Cultists. I know there's some that are from getting through a mission unhurt or from taking damage things like that as well so those will happen if they happen but uh before we get to the fifth era and before especially anyone levels up to level 11 uh when does he go at 88 so we're safe to move here uh, we want to make sure to get everyone be part of buffs so that they are powered up with the level 10 daughter. And we want to make sure they are healed. So that's going to be where most of our Vitae is going. And then after that, we will look at memories that can power them up even more. Um, I'm not going to bother getting his armor. Shatter them. Uh, how much is this? Two sixty one times twelve. Well, I guess we're uh, bursting. And then Melody can go there. Celeste can move up just a little bit, hopefully, get in range for a shot. It doesn't look like it. Um, I do want to take both of these two out, so that's going to be worth a burst. Impressive. Impressive. And then, we're going to Spirit Haste Melody so she goes faster, and then end our turn. Didn't really expect him to attack on his first go, but, you know, things happen. Is it on the left or the right? It's on the left. I should remember this map from the other day. So we're going to go right up the alleyway here. Go to the left of this little hole. Um, I'm actually going to burst Blanc here. So we're going to take out the infected here with her. I'm not wasn't sure that was going to crit, so... I revel in her strength. And then we're also going to toss a shot at him. I forgot he got the armor boost, so that didn't work. Pushing up isn't getting us very far very quickly, but, you know. 
So this should kill him because of the damage boost we get. I revel in her strength. And we can go over here because this side is where we need to go. Memories. Got a memory. That's good. Away from us. Melody can go over here. Kind of back up. Bright soul. There's new spawns. We go where we are called. Blessed are those who heed the call. Maybe two more turns to get the bright soul there. Will the poor one's suffering never end? Celeste catches up. Melody. Go to bright soul. And they're all spawning. That's a lot of spawns. That's going to be a problem with it way in back. Once again, why did it get to go on its first turn? Okay, Blanc. Just have her move up. Ignore those guys. Uh, we will do an intercepting just in case. Don't think it's really needed, but... Might have to break through up here. Master. Uh, I hate to do this. So it uses so much of her AP. But we're gonna lightning strike there since it gets us farther. We're bursting already. So we might as well take him out. Exquisite. And end the turn. And it's going to take one more turn to get up there. They want to trap us here. Celeste can move up. Intercepting will cover the bright soul. And melody. Actually, going to not burst her. Let's see what happens. That's some range on that thing. Um, she can come up here. Then end. Still go faster than some of this stuff. So I think we can get Bright Soul out now? Yeah, so let's do that. Bright Soul out, we get a coin. That will be so useful later. I expected him to root me and he did, so I'm kind of surprised there. We are going to take him out? Sure, detonating. So if she goes here, bursts, gets that juicy, juicy armor, and then do the stealing on him, take him out. 
just freed that up. Her strength inspires me. That's a little bit of damage. Alright, so we're going to finish him off. A bitter victory. And then move up as far as we can. We actually want to leave him alive right now. Actually, that was a bad idea looking at things. Oh well. Lightning strike him now. Funnily enough, it puts us right here, which is where we want it to be. We go where we are called. Celeste can actually get out, so we're gonna do that. Not sure what they're gonna do. there. Ignore this blight at your peril. They will drag our daughters into the void. Lightning strike and take him out. Then Melody can How move. Foolish, my fears. We can leave with hope. So he won't auto attack. He might grasping mantle still. Which is bad. It will reap what suffering has sown. Another terror to haunt us. All right, so the plan is to get Melody to the larva. Oh, is she... She's still rooted? But I killed the thing that rooted her. How does that make any sense? Nothing's gonna go before she goes again. That just doesn't make any sense. And she can still move. I think it rooted the wrong thing. Can it do that? Does that make a glitch? Well, in any case, we're killing it just to be sure. Her strength inspires me. And then we'll leave with Block. She's out. Alright, did we get you anything? Saved an innocent. I, it looks like we need to he look at Celeste's uh, experience. Getting that coin, yes. Together, you are stronger. Celeste, stats. So she can get 800 more experience before she levels up. Good to know. And these synapses are giving 300? Alright. Alright, well, let's... Do I really want to bring level 10? Yeah, just in case, I suppose. I was wondering if I should bring her or another soul slinger. But let, let's go with this. We must prepare to pay any price.
Beg for forgiveness. A broken street pales before a broken soul. She had shield charge. Yeah, we're gonna end sincere there and now we won't be able to lightning strike. Not safely at least. The plan really is just to go for him and end this ASAP. Wow, that's a lot of damage. My strength inspires me. So she's gonna end. What new horrors must we face? This goes here. Two, three, four. I mean, if she goes here, she can lightning strike, but then she would be bursting, which isn't great, so. try something weird and get her over here so I'm backstabbing it easier. And she's gonna end. <clears throat> Go here with her so she's not going to burst with her yet. Um, we are going to slash for the backstab. And then let's menace him. And see just how this works in a multiple attack scenario. Doesn't matter that we're rooted. Doesn't matter if he massive shots. Things gonna be gone by the next round. Another terror to haunt us. Alright, so if I slam, I do 500 damage. And do that. Now can't really testify to it again, but that was a pretty easy. His one. creed promises strength. Two traits. No matter what, we will find our own. So that's pretty good to get. We got one with a shield. That's a very nice buff and broken. Not sure how repeated losses have made her consistently fatigued, but. That is kind of good on a blade master, I suppose. End of turn delay minus 10, so I'm guessing that means instead of 50 at a normal end of turn, she'd be 60. Correct me if I'm wrong there. But then damage plus 20%. So she has damage plus 40% now. Um, there's an easy way to end of turn delay minus 5, end of turn delay minus 10. So I don't think this is as bad as it sounds. So it might just we be must fourth. break the tie Oop, that didn't. binds the child to suffering. Not mean to hit that. I meant to go the next day. We could obviously take the beacon on Let right now, but try to ruin us. We stand <clears throat> ready to fight. Uh, penance and a hard hunt. 
So let's go into the hunt. I think she... Oh. Yeah, Celeste is still fine to bring along. But after this one, I for sure have to heal her. We delve deep into the dark corners. All right. <clears throat> so let's pop over here, take out these two. I know that's the burst, but it's worth it, especially for the infected. How foolish my fears. No more armor. No more false prophets. Move her a bit and end. Hope can get closer to the hunter. Because I'm guessing she can take it out one turn now. And Seer can just move up. And two easier targets up there. Why not, Wool Burster? I revel in her strength. New spawn coming from right there. Okay. The veil grows weaker. His power stronger. Gonna all. Oh, that didn't do quite what I wanted it to. Oh well. will wait for them. This is gonna burst Celeste, but it's gonna give Hope a spear haste. now allows her to lightning strike him, and then take the butcher out. Will the poor one suffering a bit closer end? and end. Three spawns down here, Hunter. It will reap what suffering has sown. They're all gonna come out, which is kinda good. Come right here. We can lightning strike him and oh, we don't have enough AP to do anything else. Keep thinking that the burst is at well, give me 60 AP after at the half mark. It doesn't. I sincere can pop here. Slam him since that's all it needs. Shred them down. Pop down to him. I think this will take him out. Even with that armor boost. How foolish my fears. And then Celeste can easily take out the infected. Memories once locked away from us. And that's the hunt. Alright. Suffering has lost the link here. For now. Sincere got the level up. That worried me there for a second. Alright, so we Another threat has come to an end. This time. There might be a chance to use her again before she levels up. But, how things are going, I'm going to do this now. We want a Blade Give Master for her. Our daughters. 
We're going to heal. Please guide her well. Celeste with the Blade Master. That we just got, and that was Clements, so that'll give her 210 damage, 20% crit. If she didn't have that already, I don't remember, but we needed to heal her nonetheless for that thousand health. I feel her light grows stronger. Yeah, part of Clements there, and then pretty soon we'll also have to do Hope and maybe Melody. I'm surprised Melody hasn't gotten a trait. Um, anyway, back to the penance. This won't level block up right. 400. Oh yeah, she still needs a bit. So, we can put her, Melody, and Victor. To see if the thing with Victor is what I think it is. It's either an end of turn delay, she'll be at like... 40 this or 60. will not stand. Here you will remain, sinner. Okay, where are some enemies? We got the hunter down there, which would be good to go take out. Got otherwise two enemies and three enemies. So Melody is gonna go for the hunter. Blanc can go for the scavengers. And Victor can easily go for these ones. Lightning strike should take him out. Yeah. It looks like we need Spread five points. It's even 50, so I'm not sure what her end of turn delay was before. Closer and actually maybe attack. Might need to throw a heal on Blanc. <coughs> this will be fun. inspires me all right then here we could do the I reaping revel in her strength and we have 20 left to reverse but you know what whatever she can take him out how foolish my fears and then we can take him out Victor is out, actually. Wow. No mercy. Uh, I have no clue where these things are going to be spawning, so I'm going to go to the usual corners. We go where we are called. Alright, what do we got? That won't matter. Flesh is its canvas. In fact, it won't matter much because it's going down. I am a bit miffed about it being able to attack right off the bat though. I 
Blanc will be going out. I pray for your redemption. But Melody's up next. And can just do the stealing. Her strength inspires me. Oh. He was only worth one. Well then, we are going to have to rectify that. It looks like they're all three gonna rush me. <laughs> Go to him. Can I do this stealing and take him out? I cannot. I have to get up close and personal. I, mean, I guess it has a crit chance or whatever, but. I'm not so sure about the interrupt being worth it damage-wise. And we'll finish him off. No more false prophets. That's that. All right. Another threat has come to an end. This time. All isolated units have plus two movement range. Oh, that's kind of sad. Alright, we got another rescue. We will be doing that. So, let's take... How's she doing on... Blanc actually might level up after the next one, so let's take Celeste because she's going to level from that. Celeste won't level, or Hope won't level. And then let's take Melody. Fear? Pain? Whatever hides within, we must engage it. This one looks rather straightforward. And then it's that way? Okay. So we're gonna go actually over here. And, and great soul. Five armor or fifty-five six. I'm gonna go here. We're gonna take his armor. A bitter victory. Since we're bursting already, we're gonna move up. Memories once locked away from us. He has a really large movement range. I am going to try to take him out. That'll have to wait until next turn. And she might be able to get out next turn. Uh, just to keep this isolated buff. at your peril. They will drag our daughters into the void. Alright, Celeste. Can move here. The veil grows weaker. Then take him out. Power. And then finish moving here. I revel in her strength. 
Bright Soul is out. That buff uh, made this really quick. We are going to lightning strike him. Then Slash should take him out. A bitter victory. And then, since I don't want to burst her. And then she'll stay there. That's playing dirty. Celeste is gonna go out. Flesh is its canvas. Once again, why does it get to go right away? I think this is the only thing I know that will do that. More followers of his twisted creed. Well, everyone else is out. They want to trap us here. And Melody. That was probably the quickest rescue I have done or seen. <laughs> 375 a day, nice. Celeste is level 11. Flourish. Everyone else is close. Get another revive coin. Together, you are stronger. Um, she at? She needs five hundred and fifty. How much does this give? 250? I think we're safe to put Blanc in. I am gonna heal her before this just in case, though. That's right. Let me scroll down. Germinate. Give life to our daughters. This is gonna be another Blade Master. Please, guide her well. Generate. Charity. Yep. Now, unleash her on any who stand in her way. Why does she seem to give more damage and cr crit damage? Then that seems odd. I want to see something quick. So if I were to use, say, hope. Nope. Doesn't change. Okay. I do this with this. Sacrifice. Yes. A charity block. Yes. Her sacrifice births another hope. Maybe it's because she already had that buff on her and it was just compounding. That would make sense. Hard hunt to get more vite and experience. Blanc. Sincere. Victor. This will not stand. Here you will remain. Sin. Only six enemies this time. That's interesting. So we're going to have her rush up. Well, really everyone rush up, but... We can wait for the worm to move in on us. So we'll take him out. 
No more false prophets. And if I move here. Memories once locked away from us. Alright. Come on, Mr. Wormy. So it's worth bursting Sincere to take him out. It's so fun to take him out with Slam. Just because I can. Will the poor one suffering now never take out end? the worm, do a slash, that should do it. A bitter victory. Another worm. Ignore this blight at your peril. They will drag our daughters into the void. And there are the last two. Okay. And we're not going to burst. But we are going to slash. And then move towards the lawless. Memory infected. Locked away from us. That'll be easier to take out. And a therapist. Is its canvas. Once again, not too bad to take out. So there he is with Wong. Striking. And with her, Sincere doesn't need to do anything. Move up a little bit with Victor. A little bit more. A little bit more. Lightning strike. How foolish my fears. His blind faith won't shackle my daughter. And we got two more traits, which is very good. So next day, we're on day four of this His era already. Promises strength. No matter what, we will find our own. Inner void. Uh, we got leader, which is that aura. That's really nice. All adjacent allies gain this effect, plus 40% damage. I wonder if that stacks. So if Blanc and Celeste were standing next to each other, would would they give it to each other? And then if like Hope was standing next to them, would Hope get plus 80%? These are interesting thoughts. And then she got Prodigy, which is plus. 10% critical chance, which, well, not the best on a shield bear, it's not the worst thing either. I'll take it. Alright. Um, two hunts, one impossible, so let's do that. Blanc's at full health. This one is going to give like 400 experience, so as long as we're careful with who we take out on hope, we're fine. Same with Melody here. And then... We can probably bring Sincere. A new challenge beckons. She is my servant, given by the heavens to reward my good work. Creepy. All right. So we got two hunters and an infected to start off. Only eight enemies. So we're just going to rush ahead like normal. I'll have to dial this plan a little back once uh, we get to the fifth era. She's 
she's gonna go over here and steal his armor. And we'll just take him out. This should take him out. No more false prophets. Alright, we'll hunt her down. Memories once locked away from us. Find bursting to go over here and taking out this infected. Shred them down. What new horrors must we face? She can go over here and slam him. And her turn so she doesn't burst. This will probably be the one kill I'm okay with getting on. Oops, so she doesn't level up. But lightning strike to take out the hunter. Exquisite. Move up here, because that's where I see a spawn point, which is going to be another hunter. It will reap what suffering has sown. And we can probably take him out. Yep. How foolish my fears. Hope it's fine where she is. I'm gonna have Melody come around here. So there might be spawns in that area. Blanc, I want more middle upper part. Another yeah. terror. Okay, two more us. there. Blanc, or Hope, really is only going to be there to doing damage. Flesh is its canvas. Might have to burst to take that one out again. It's in range, that's good. I don't like the other buffs, so. Lawless. Now this one spawns. Well, maybe not, but we're just gonna move her up there. Can the stealing take him out? The stealing can take him out. I revel in her strength. And that's probably it for Melody. They want to trap us here. I never noticed before, but he has a collection of those portraits too. It makes sense, considering, you know, he mentions her. Alright, they're both right there. Got one infected. Got one hunter. So Sincere is going to take this one out. And bop. Now Blanc can probably finish things up here. I'm assuming. Memories once locked away from us. Little tight on that angle, but she got him. Shatter them. All right. Looked away from us. See how close to leveling we got here. Let her flourish. Okay, Blanc got level eleven. That's good. The others did not. 
Now, another threat has come to an end. I forget. This time. Though the danger passes, we must prepare for the next. So the main thing we're doing here is we are getting her the buff. Because, actually, no, we don't want... Do I want the damage buff on her? Yeah, I want the damage buff on her. Not sure why she got even more. Give life to our daughters. And then we're going to do the same thing. Her sacrifice on hope. births another hope. And that's the same amount, huh? That's a lot of damage for a blade master. Her sacrifice births another hope. So, I know this episode has been going on kind of a while. We had some uh, fun spots. I know we're not quite at the point where we can take on the Deacon, or technically we are, but getting these extra resources are really going to help us in the long run for the fifth era, which I still kind of have a bad feeling about. So, I appreciate y'all um, understanding if I take it slow. I think I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we're going to definitely get to the deacon um finish all the synapses up to them then skip to era five see what we can do there and see if we can't do something about the boss so yeah two bosses next episode maybe question mark if not just one hopefully look forward to that otherwise i'll see what i can do about maybe making the uh, last boss its own episode and so that's a two episode plan i wish you all well see you next time and have a good one